all right everybody welcome back to the channel um so today's video we're gonna be replacing the uh turn signals on kenworth the two big reasons why i'm doing it is for one uh this side is um completely loose now i tried to see if the nut was loose but it, apparently the uh the stud completely is just loose so i can just turn this whole entire thing so that is no good i don't want it to crack i don't want it to break and then the second reason is it's clear so i don't like clear because sunlight and time aging it just turns yellow and uh, i just i'm gonna just replace them i have these these were meant for the uh the uh project bison if you recall if you remember these uh bottom of houston at the chrome stop so my and the link their their deal in the description below so you know y'all can go check it out they got a good good you know chrome stuff lights and everything there um uh, reasonable prices uh but these like i said these are uh universal technically and um these lights are aftermarket so the wires are red black and white so i don't have to figure out which is which on like the Volvo. The Volvo has the Kenworth lights, never meant for this one. If you recall, if you remember in the channel a few months back, you see? So, you know, sadly it is what it is, but uh, I prefer these um, instead of these clear ones. And this truck also has those clear um, clearance lights on top on the sides. I don't like that either, but uh, when I have a chance, I'll go to chrome stopped and buy me some new ones um but for now we're just going to replace the turn signal because this one's loose broken and if dot ends up pulling me over and for some odd reason he just like oh this is loose you know just i don't want no issues so uh we're gonna put these on and uh so we're gonna put these on and have them and then look at dot there so they can't say oh there's no dot approved it says right here so yeah we're gonna change these out and uh get to work so hopefully these are the same type of nuts and bolts here uh for the uh this new one this is a standard 530 seconds uh hex socket i have a 13 inch ratchet wrench uh because like i said this one is broken or it's just loose and it turns completely so i need to hold the center part and unbolt this this nut so it can actually come out of the hood but uh I have a wrench but i also have an impact but i also have a socket i mean uh, the ratchet here then i got my my electrical stuff to do you know cut pinch or crimp and then you know splice and then electrical tape and so what I plan to do and use is um, these, uh, I guess, buck connectors. That's what they call these, right? Splice connectors, whatever. Uh, I originally wanted to use the splayed ones, but I am missing one splayed. Uh, the, male, the male connector, not the female. I got plenty of female connectors, but I'm missing one. And I don't, I'm just that lazy. I don't feel like going to go just buy one and i like to buy my stuff at harbor freight it comes with the pack bulk for a good cheap price i mean they're crazy cheap and you get a, a crap ton and if i go to o'reilly's or or any hardware store or including ace they're just they're just a little pricey for what i'm gonna need and just for one i don't think so so less talking more working so let me prop pry the hood up so i can show y'all what i gotta do and um uh, so yeah, so catch you in All right, a I got bit. the hood pride open. So check it out. Um, so this is a little bit different design. I let me check the socket real quick. It may even be the wrong size. Hope not. So that means I would have to go back to the shop. Into the shop. Oh, let's see. It is a 13. Okay. Well, sadly, this um, this stud doesn't have a, a thing to hold. So it's gonna be kind of a, a tricky situation. I'm gonna have to get a, uh, a uh, what do you call it? The, uh, oh, what the pliers called? Pressure pliers, I guess. 
channel, not channel locks, the pressure pliers. You know, hold the, the stud while I try to break this nut off. Um, I'm gonna try this one, make sure this one can come out. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I could get the wire brush and put some little bit of liquid there, but um, we'll try, we'll see. So, this is no little different. The white goes to white, red goes to red. And then I'm trying to figure out if this is brown or black. Uh, the camera doesn't do, do justice, but um, it, to me, it looks like it's a brown. It could be black, but it's all corresponding to their colors. Um, so that's that's good. It's meant for a Kenworth, I guess. Uh, those lights, because they were a different color, if you remember. I will put a card annotation for that video. But um, yeah, so let me check the other side, I'm just, just to make sure here. Um, also make sure when i take these off and if you have these uh we put epoxy there jb will so let's just hope that doesn't mess up but we need these like spacers things because as you can see the hood is like curved this way or the fender i mean and to keep it flat well we need these little you know rubber things so let's just hope and more likely it just probably just come right off yeah so we good so yeah this is gonna be fun so let me try to get this something done here and then we uh we'll see what happens i might just end up Ooh. well we know what this is what, what's what so we're just gonna cut it that's what i hate you know what make fresh connections just cut this off completely and put that all in there and then that's just that sucks I wish there was a little bit of extra wire there. So, yep, we'll see what happens. So let me try to get this off and then uh, give you another quick update. All right, so I put both of them on already. Um, what's it called? I went and uh, did the connections, I redid them. Uh, here is, yeah. Yep, I had to hold it here and then take the nut off and then as soon as I had enough space, I had the vice grips, that's what they're called, vice grips, and hold them right here and managed to take them off. Um, yeah, it's like, I mean, it's still good electrical wise, but the but bolting wise onto something is just, it's junk. So the other side's still good, but I mean, those, those, I mean, like I said, the electronics are still good. It's just the clear shit and all that. And then this one was starting to rust completely off. So, yep, I got both of them on. They both do work, but I still lower it down and, you know, turn on the lights and stuff for y'all so y'all can see. But, uh, yeah. So, let me clean up, get everything out of here, and put the hood down so, so y'all can see the... Uh, the, the end result so let me uh let me start cleaning my stuff up and then uh we go and uh turn these lights on see what, what's up all right we got the passenger side now the driver's side so let's turn on the uh, what is it the running lights oh i can't reach Oh, the old ones you can't really tell what they're on all right let's turn on the hazards turn off the lights put on the hazards <clears throat> i cleaned as much as i could in the truck and interior if you follow me on instagram you would uh you would know um uh, but old field sucks. Uh. All right, yeah. Okay. 
Hell yeah. So on the Kenworth from factory, it is black, white, and red. So you shouldn't have no trouble trying to install it after like aftermarket lights to the Kenworth. But for the Volvo, since it was a different deal there for some reason. Um was it? I can't remember now. But uh yeah. Yes, sir. I like it. Picasso. <laughs> yeah, it looks way better. Better than them uh, clear shits. All right, well, there you go. So that's how you install aftermarket lights. <laughs> keep them clean. I'm gonna try to keep this truck clean as much as I can. Yep, way better. All right, well, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, so remember, go like and comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so y'all know when I upload. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>